Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new Kickstarter, the Ready Model 100 Portable Computer Kit. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, the Ready Model 100 Portable Computer Kit is a brand new Kickstarter project that's geared towards single board computers, like the Raspberry Pi. It's designed as a high quality modular case to turn your Raspberry Pi into basically a laptop. When I first took a really good look at the design of this thing, it immediately reminded me of something else. The TRS-80 Model 100, which is a huge throwback to the 80s. Based on that, I immediately think that this is going to be an incredibly niche product but also a pretty darn cool one. The idea behind the design of this thing is to basically make a fully customizable and upgradable laptop using the power of something like a Raspberry Pi. The main problem with laptops is they're pretty much self-contained units, so if you have a problem with one, unless you know what you're doing, you might be out of luck. Yes, you can change RAM in it. Yes, you can change hard drives, but your options here are pretty limited. If you're looking at adding additional ports, maybe swapping a few components out, you really can't do that. But with the Ready Model 100, you can. The Model 100 really is kind of like a desktop experience. You can add whatever port you want to it. You can power it with almost whatever SBC you want you can upgrade it to your heart's content. There are two different models, the Pro and the Neo. The Pro is the bare bones kit geared towards customizability. Looking at the specs of this thing, it says North American made aluminum enclosure, your choice in retro punk silver or cyberpunk black. A 1920 by 480 touchscreen IPS LCD with HDMI input and USB power data. Custom manufactured dual 5 watt neodymium speakers. A 64 key programmable mechanical keyboard PCB with RGB LED lights. The Pro does not come with switches or caps, you'll have to do those yourself. 12 universal port panel mount cutouts includes three keystone couplers, USB-C, USB-3A, and HDMI, along with six D-type to keystone adapters, three keystone filler plates, and six D-type filler plates for DIY. Four SMA, RPSMA high gain antenna couplers. Universal PCB mounting plate for standard single board computers, five volt to 12 volt formats. Guitar strap compatible side locks. Rock your Model 100 with style and security. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It also comes with ReadyOS free and open source Debian based Linux for x86-64 and ARM64. The Neo Ready Model 100 is a fully complete system, so it's not like the Pro that's a bare bones kit. This thing pretty much has it all. It's got everything you need to make a functional computer, the above Pro Ready Model 100 kit, as well as a 30 watt 5 volt power management system and a battery holder. All of the cables you need, the 2 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4, micro SD card with ready OS, 64 mechanical key switches, your choice of red or blue clear Gatoron switches, and a full keycap set plus stabilizers. If you're still a little confused about this thing, I don't blame you. I personally think the ultra wide screen might throw a lot of people off. It's not a very common thing at all. They provided a few examples of who might be interested in this. Musicians, radio amateurs, system admins, audio video producers, hackers and makers, and doomsday preppers. Now moving on to the backing tiers. For 49 bucks Canadian or 39 bucks American, you get the computer swag pack. So this is just for support, it's not for the actual system. For 235 bucks, you get the Pro DIY kit as well as the swag pack. For $353 American or $450 Canadian, you get the Neo kit without a single board computer. So this is the fully assembled everything included except a Raspberry Pi. For an extra $40, so $392 total American or $499 Canadian, you get the full shebang. You get the full kit with the single board computer. And the final tier, which is $785 or $1,000 Canadian, it's the buy one, give one option. You get a fully fleshed out Neo Ready Model 100, and they donate a Ready Model 100 to a family in a remote Aboriginal community in Canada. That's a nice charitable option. In terms of overall campaign health, this thing has raised 19,450 bucks with a goal of 157,000. It has 64 backers with 36 days left to go. 
I think it's a little bit early to say whether or not this is going to meet its target, but at the same time, it's off to a strong start. Now as to whether or not I think this is worth it, I'll start out with the tiers. If you're interested in the Neo Kit, the full system, everything included, I would probably actually spring for the one without the single board computer. Then you can supply whatever one you want. For $39 more, you can get the Raspberry Pi 2 gigabyte version, or for 35 bucks, you can buy the Raspberry Pi on your own and just slot it in. But if you know exactly what you want to do, I would go for the $235 Pro Kit and just build it out yourself. One thing I will point out though, if you're picking up the Pro Kit, parts cost money and they quickly add up. It might be cheaper to pick up a Neo system and just modify that. Now in terms of price, I'll be honest with you, this is not an inexpensive investment. And with the relatively low cost of single board computers, the price of this might be a little off putting. For comparison's sake, here is the Pi Top. This thing turns your Raspberry Pi into a laptop. It's not overly configurable, it's made of plastic and it's priced at $300. It also does not include a Raspberry Pi. The Pi Top started out as an Indiegogo. Here is the Lap Pi. It's a very similar product to the Pi Top and it's priced at about $270 American. Fun fact, the Lap Pi was also a Kickstarter. So really at the end of the day here, whether or not this is worth it will be entirely up to you. Personally, I think this is a really cool device. It's a really unique device, but it's also a very niche device. I think this will appeal to a very specific type of person. If you take a look at this and know exactly what you would do with it and how you would use it, well, this device might be for you. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on the Ready Model 100 in the comments below, and let me know how you would plan on using it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.